Good afternoon and welcome to our midday mull for Wednesday the 17th of June. Continuing my read through Isaiah in Isaiah 49, uh, the prophet writes, Shout for joy, O heavens, rejoice, O earth, burst into song, O mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and will have compassion on his afflicted ones. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, the Lord has forgotten me. And it struck me how often uh, God says one thing and our experience doesn't quite match up with that. And we let our experience control our understanding. And so yeah, God says, I'm doing this. And Israel says, no, this, this, this isn't so. Um, and then in verse uh, 15, Isaiah continues. Um, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will never forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. Your sons hasten back, and those who laid you waste depart from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your sons gather and come to you. As surely as I live, declares the Lord, you will wear them all as ornaments. You will put them on like a bride. And you have this this wonderful uh, thing of God saying, I will not forget you, no matter what your experience is, no matter what you're going through, no matter what the world may say, I will keep my word. And that wonderful, wonderful line, um, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. And that, that image that our names are on God's hands. And no matter what he does, they are there. That's how close we are to God. That, that's how how intimately he he holds on to us and knows us and so my encouragement for today is remember that particularly when you feel like israel and you feel like no, this isn't true i don't see it i don't feel it that uh, everything looks completely wrong and different hold on to that word um, we are engraved i've carved you on the palms of my hands hold on to that and, and draw strength from it in all situations at all times and rejoice. Amen.